Ah, I gotta get you use them. <laughs> Hi, beauties and curls. We are back with another video. It's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat. And out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come and chit chat with your girl. Yes. And if you are new, welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you're going to love it. Yes, I can wait. Did you hit it? We would love for you to be a part of the Melissa Q family. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. And let's just get some preliminaries out of the way number one yes I have <laughs> oh it's my hair mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it came in a box but it's still my hair okay um yeah this is from California lace wigs I did do a review unboxing how I styled it all that kind of stuff this is the very first wig that I am styling on my channel and yes more is to come or more yeah more is to come I think I said that right and yeah so look for that if I've done it I'll put it over here in the cards if it hasn't posted yet hold tight yeah also y'all I have a vlog channel yes I wanted to get a vlog channel before I went into vlogmas because me and my girl CJ that's my sister from another mister my bestie here on YouTube we are going to be doing vlogmas kind of like together well not kind of like we are going to be doing it together but last year I don't know if y'all know that we're like she's east coast I'm west coast or she's southeast so this is kind of like a thing that we share and then also we're going to have some giveaways and y'all remember the 12 days of Christmas that we did last year if you didn't see it you gotta see it maybe I'll link it over here so you guys can check it out but yeah good times so uh, no more chit chat let's get straight into this video today's a video we are talking about the makeup show yes had an amazing time finally y'all every people's people have been sick my husband's not feeling well tonight <sighs> I just I had to get this up and y'all y'all know I don't get glammed up all the time so of course I had to use this look since I was reviewing this unit I had to do this I had to like do it now so I have all the goodies here in this makeup forever bag I love this I have lips on my <laughs> I love this sweatshirt now this is not the makeup forever lips but I love this sweatshirt and this is how the bag looks I did attend a class now the makeup show to me I always tell people like I always explain the makeup show like this if IMAX is university then the makeup show would be college college you get more attention the classrooms are smaller university you're a number you know college you're more they're more personable I personally love the makeup show just because just for that reason and it's in a contained space if it's rain I don't know I just I really like it because I feel like it's just more personable plus the education to me because the classes are smaller you can ask more questions you feel like you know you're up close and personal with the educators and to me they have the stellar lineup you know they had um, I want to say her name is Danessa Mavericks I know I'm butchering that name they had so many prominent people Pat McGrath was there AJ Crimson Lori Taylor from Smashbox oh my goodness it was so many people James Vincent did you know his thing in terms of always coming and I feel like I really like his like presentation because he opens it up to the beauty bloggers and for press and we get to ask questions but it's more mostly you know he goes through all of the stuff that I'm going to show you guys but he also kind of gives you what's trending right now what uh, makeup artist should really be honing in on and I don't know if you guys know this but I am a freelance makeup artist I used to work at Mac and then had to leave because I was pregnant and put on bed rest and uh, so that was like short very short-lived and then um, I freelanced because it was just easier for me so mostly mostly I do proms and weddings but I've done some other like editorials and stuff like that but mostly 
it's on my time so that's what freelance means but this is perfect for my kit and a, you know a great way to review some product for you guys as well i'm one of those makeup artists that i like to try stuff on myself because if i don't like it i'm not putting it on anybody else's face i just feel like i could not put product on somebody else's face until i tested it out and even if it's not fit for my skin type i want to give the texture i want to feel it i want to know how to work with it so i love putting on the products on my face so let's get into this um unbagging i actually kind of like condensed it in the zuka bag that we got but let me show you something i actually went to this booth and met this amazing ceo of his brand and got to ask him questions and different things like this so you guys are going to totally see a separate video about this but it's veil cosmetics now i know i love talking about brands that no one has really heard about as of yet because that's how a brand blows blows up but they i, I got a chance to really ask him why did he name his brand veil cosmetics and he was because the the weight is super duper light it's like a veil uh, you know the questions like that and then also it is paraben free oil free cruelty free and it's vegan and gluten free by the way so i am so excited this is the sunset skin foundation i was matched and this is how the bottle looks i cannot wait i cannot wait to try this okay so this is how it looks and then i also was able to get the complexion fix corrector concealer highlighter this is the weightless com complexion solutions i got this and i actually got one for color correcting and one for highlighting or concealing so i actually have another one of these my shade is tan 4g in the foundation 4g in the foundation now i'm not gonna hold stuff right up at the camera because i feel like it, it it just acts crazy when i do that and then this one is in 4n i have the primer the sunset light primer mixing base so i got a good amount i don't need too much and this is more of a serum so I love the packaging, very colorful. I love brush tips like this. But we will be coming with a review. I say we, like calling myself in the third person, but I'll be coming with a review with those. Then I put everything in my Zuka bag, but let's talk about what's loose in here. We have on Makeup Magazine, I love this very educational I love this Senna cosmetics they have brow stencils I think I want to try this too got this from beauty so clean and it looks like it's a brush cleaner and let's see what it is okay this is a candy cane scented conditioning brush cleaner I need to clean my brushes I need to use this let me know if there's anything you want me to review too I can do this versus cinema, cinema Secrets, which I really love. So we can see how that works. We got a brush from Smith Cosmetics. And this is the, I love this brush. I have actually a crown brush like this. This is the 122. I feel like this is really great for contouring the nose or even contouring here chiseling it out um, is very soft so I can't wait to use this wish I got some more yeah that's from Smith we'll put that aside got a face mask called this is the vitamin sadness mask from must have and it is to give lively skin from uh to give lively skin from depressing and difficulty. So, wanna try that? Okay, let's get into this bag. Now the Zuka bag, I love this. I actually have a few of these. 
and they are very, very great for travel. So um, allows you to see everything in here from the phrase value. It is black on the, on the back part, but we're gonna zip it open and we're gonna just dig right through. I'm just gonna go through this um, and as quick as possible. This bag is samples uh, from Embryo Lease, but it's everything from their line. So we have the anti-age firming cream. We have the cream nutritive. Don't know what that is. I love their cream concentrate. Um, this is uh, their La Creme Moussa. Okay. This is the... This is smoothing. This is an aftershave balm. I mean, we're not gonna go through all of this, but everything em em Embryolise is in there. Okay, next thing, this is from Senna Cosmetics. This is a brow. I remember James talking about this. This is a brow. A brow. This is a brow palette. Ooh, and that's how that looks. I've never tried their brow products, but I always, ooh, that's smooth. I like this a lot because of the different tones that's in it. And I love the packaging. I don't even know if y'all can see this. I don't even think I'm gonna hold anything up because y'all, the lights are so beaming on me. I don't know what is going on right now. This is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. I've gotten this in boxy charms and stuff. This stuff ain't cheap and it's amazing. This is the blue one. This is the one that helps with pores. There is one that's black, but this is a pore perfecting exfoliator. Next thing, Makeup Forever. Y'all, this, y'all know I don't wear red lipstick, but this, this makes me wanna like put it on right now. This is in the shade 401. I have this shade already and it is amazing. I did a couple of uh, Instagram pics. Oh, that's so pretty. This is a color, color craze lip crayon, matte crayon. This is in Valley Girl. This is from Youngblood Cosmetics. Oh, this is a red Valley Girl. Oh, I want to test this. Kind of coming across pink on me. I know. It's like a clean smell, but young blood. We'll see. Oh, it's like a nice pink. This is not red. I actually thought it was red, but this is actually pink. Okay. Graftopian, we got a powder, and this is the banana cream pie powder. I am so excited about trying this. I have my Sasha, my Sasha Buttercup, and I have Beauty Bakery. So, want to try those banana powders? I have Kevin Aquan. This is the eyeshadow single. This is in the shade Coffee Bean. Shades like this is what I like to. Um, I like to use for my brows. Kevin Kwan is so, so chic. I love this. And that's how that shade looks. Oh, so pretty. Okay. May Ron gave us a brazen mascara. A mascara hoard, y'all. Ooh, it's in like a tube. I don't want to open it. This is from Crown. This is a lipstick. And the shade, where's the shade? Felony. And it is a purple. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
Urban Decay gave us a heavy metal. This is in Gamma Ray. And it looks like it's like a blue. Like blue. Yeah. Oh, turquoise. Pretty. So mermaidish. I have Midnight Cowboy. Smashbox gave us a, the primerizer. I cannot wait to use this. Anybody with dry skin that I've seen review this on YouTube gives this an A plus. So I can't wait to use that. This is from Danessa Mavericks. This is her hydrating lotion. I would think this is kind of like a primer. Yeah, it has dimethicone in it. So you gotta get that smoothing. But that's how it looks. Ooh, pretty. With the pump. Prism FX Hydrating Lotion from Danessa. Y'all, this is getting all in my face. I'm, this is, ooh. It's like a hair like right under my nose. I already tell you. Ooh, and that's so soft. So. I would use this for concealer or patting in a powder under the eye or for cream products like chiseling. Okay, this one is from Isom. Oh, I love this. It's like a tulip. I call this a tulip chisel brush. This is the Isom X51 brush, if you wanted to know. But it's super soft. Let's put that back in there. We got the Mario Badescu. The, this is the Aloe and Cucumber Green Tea. I am running low on the rose one, so I'm excited about that. Oh. Excited about that because I have I'm dropping everything at this point I don't care okay two more things and we'll be done you guys this is the NYX strobe of genius I already have this and um, have I tried it no I would love I can't wait to try this but I, I'm gonna put this in the giveaway because I already have one and um, I just like bought it just recently like a couple of months ago and we got the RCMA this is their Vincent Coho I oh, know I'm messing that up this is a what is this I need to put this on the back these are the foundation shades this is a pro palette. And this is how it looks. Very nice. And y'all, these pop out. I don't want to pop it out. Yes, I do. So these pop out. And you can put lipstick. I mean, they have it where this palette, I can change and put lip color. I can put powder. I can put whatever I want to in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The makeup show, I do have a vlog coming, but I had an amazing time as always. This is probably like the fourth year I think I've attended. Yeah, the fourth, third or fourth year that I've attended. And yeah, look for reviews. Let me know if there's anything you want me to review or if you've tried anything or if you've gone to the makeup show or plan on going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see beautiful you in the next video.